Glenn, for those of us who strap on uh, our various uh, GA airplanes each uh, each morning, fire up uh, the MFDs and kind of try to stay uh, away from the foul weather, you're the guys that are keeping us out of trouble. But it seemed to me that there was an opportunity here to find a lot more about the folks not only providing weather as well as other services and the capabilities that WeatherWorks brings to bear here. Okay, WeatherWorks is a uh, data gathering company. What we do is we gather the data come off of NOAA, NWS, uh, DOD, uh, FAA. We gather them from all those agencies and we gather it together and then we compress it and we send it over to XM. And XM transmits it to two satellites that are geostationary. And those who are equipped in the aircraft with a, a re weather receiver uh, get it to the airplane and then it's displayed on either a GPS or an MFD. We don't do it to, to basically replace a weather radar that's in the, in the cockpit if the aircraft is so equipped. We just use it so he, can, he or she can uh, plan a, a strategy around the weather. Uh, in the past, what's happened, we've been, you'd had to communicate with the uh, ATC to find out what the weather was doing ahead of you. Um, and, now, and they're not always forthcoming with that kind of info. Absolutely, absolutely, especially when it comes to winds or in some cases uh, even uh, your thunderstorms. They tend to vector you near or right into one. In this case, we've actually given a tool to the pilot that he can look on a GPS or an MFD and make that decision. Do I, can I go through that area? Is it capable of, you know, of uh, avoiding the upper level storms? Or even if I'm flying on clear day, what are the winds doing? How can I save fuel? Because today is very important on the fuel side because of the cost. That's the big thing to pilot. It's now what keeps him from flying his airplane, cost of fuel. If I can be able to transmit weather wind aloft, he can decide what altitude he's at. Did I plan well ahead or has it changed over a three-hour flight if I'm doing a long cross country? So we do have, provide that tool as well as advanced information of it, forecasted information, such as going into our, my destination. What is the weather going to be like when I arrive? As, are the winds still going to come out of the south, for instance, or are they shifting? Um, is that storm going to be off the field, come approaching the field, or is it going to be over the field when I arrive? Do I need to, to plan for an alternate? Do I need to plan for a vector around that? These are all the tools that we give the pilot in the cockpit to make those decisions instead of having to rely on a third party. Sunny or cloudy, rainy or bright, day or night, the future of flying is now clearly in sight. Garmin SVT, synthetic vision technology. You've got a pretty wide and varied product line when it comes to weather information. Can you kind of give us an overview of just what it is that you offer? What we offer basically is we offer the uh, weather on several different pieces of equipment. You know, you can get it on your laptop, you can get it on a GPS handheld mobile or even on a panel. Now what we offer as far as the product in there, we have Nextrad Radar. And we now have Canadian radar, which was, it's a little different than ours, but at least those who live up in the northern area of the United States and in the southern area of Canada now have that availability to them. We offer winds aloft, as I had mentioned before, uh, which is something that's very advantageous to pilots. We also offer the METARs and TAFs. So we got, he has a report, or they have a report prior to getting there. We have um, also air mitts and SIGMITs. Now, the way we offer it is instead of having to listen to a broadcast that say it was 40 miles off of such and such a, a VOR and such and such a radial, now we actually show it up on the screen and overlaying on a map. So now we could see it and avoid it. We also offer, offer things such as freezing levels for those guys in the northern area. You know, that's very good in the later time of the year, in the beginning of the year, when they want to fly and they, they want to stay below that freezing level. Another, another item we offer is satellite. Everybody wants that satellite mosaic that lays over the clouds. And we combine that satellite mosaic with a thing that we like to put out, which is actually echo tops. That basically, using the radar, an X-ray radar, and a satellite mosaic, we overlay it, and you can tell where the tops of the clouds are. 
So you know where the little lows and highs in the valleys and the, and the, cloud, the, the high cumulus clouds are at. We've also come out with something that was really, a lot of our customers that already have the package probably don't know it, uh, and the aviator package we've actually, actually offered for free um, your pi reps and air reps. So a person flying along can get a pi rep for the area he's going into if they're available in that area. As you know, pilots tend to not give too many pi reps, and you could tell when you pull this product up, you go, wait a minute, that weather's kind of moving around in there. How come there's no as many pi reps? Well, that's because he's busy trying to avoid the weather to give a pi rep. So one of the things as a pilot myself, I'm an ATP, I like to give pi reps when I'm in, in route to an ATC so he could pass it on to the, to the FSS also and to, if it's IWAS he can pass it on to them. So pilots coming behind me will know what the weather's doing. But with this tool I have a lot more information to give them. Okay? I can be a little bit more accurate on what, what, what to tell, tell a ATC control. So those are some of the products that are offered to the Aviator subscriber that are free. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Now, when I was picking the package for, uh, for our Cirrus, I noticed that there's a couple of different uh, graduations in the Aviator package line. Can you go over what's available and, and uh, the pricing schedule? Okay. Um, the packages that we offer, we start out with the Aviator Lite. What I like to refer to it, since I've been with the company, I've been with it for almost three years now, going on three years. The Aviator Lite package is a package, I say, if you're a VFR pilot flying less than 10 hours a, a month, you need to, you know, and you want to see what the weather is at my destination 100 miles away. That's what I say. Take the Aviator Lite, which is $29.99 a month. The next step up, I offer to those pilots who fly more than those hours a month. They're more on, I use my plane or aircraft for business. So I do a lot of traveling, or I do long distance traveling when I do travel. Or for a company that has a fleet of aircraft, I offer the Aviator package, which is broader, 20 products on that as compared to the six products of Aviator Light. So you got a much more broader van of weather um, products coming over that. That is $49.99 a month. And the top tier we have is the Aviator Pro package, which is a $99.99 uh, tier. It's got some more to it. It's got upper level weather such as high altitude turbulence starting at 21,000 feet and going up. Also has SIPS. SIPS is your, your current icing product. Okay, that's basically brought off a of forecast and, and reports. At the same time, we also have the SLD, which is your super cool liquid droplets. Uh, that's included in that package as well. Once a pilot flies it and it gets him out of trouble or avoids the trouble, especially avoiding the trouble, it's paid for itself. Glenn, we thank you for your time, and, and more important than that, thanks for keeping my butt out of the weather. You're most welcome, most welcome. I'm glad to be of that service to you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome.